Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Jefferson College and today's commencement ceremony. Please rise as we now begin the processional.
Ladies and gentlemen, please remain standing for the singing of our national anthem. The anthem is being performed today by students from Jefferson College's music department and conducted by choir director Paula Martin. Please be seated. Hello and welcome graduating class of 2022, esteemed guests. I'm Jefferson College President Dr. Dina McCaffrey and on behalf of the Board of Trustees, the faculty, staff and administration, welcome to today's 57th annual commencement ceremony. Before we would begin, I would like to introduce the those on the platform. From my right, your left, is Ms. Margie Passmore, member of the Jefferson College Board of Trustees. <laughs> Dr. Kimberly Harvey Manis, Vice President of Student Services. <laughs> Dr. Christopher DeGeer, Vice President of Instruction. Mr. Dennis Gannon, Jefferson County Executive. And Ms. Susan Tuggle, member of the Jefferson College Board of Trustees. At this time, I'm pleased to introduce some special guests in our audience, located in the seating area to my left and in the front. We welcome them and are very pleased that they can join us for the college's proudest celebration of the year. Please stand when I call your name. State Senator Elaine Gannon. State Representative Cindy Buckeye Courtway. And President of the Jefferson College Foundation, Dr. Julia Hampton. The Jefferson College Foundation supports scholarships, grants, and emergency loans, and I'm sure many of the students here have benefited from their work, so thank you. To begin our ceremony today, we would like to acknowledge graduates and any faculty, staff, family members, or others who are military personnel, veterans of the United States Armed Forces, or who work in public service or healthcare fields. We honor you, we thank you, and we sincerely appreciate your service to our country. Will you please stand and be recognized? <laughs> now, 
Thank you. We also extend a special welcome to the families of our graduates. Without their encouragement and support, those who, walked across the, who walk across the stage today would not have achieved this level of success. So if you are a parent, a grandparent, a brother, a sister, an aunt, an uncle, a spouse, child, or any other relative of a Jefferson College graduate, please stand. Thank you, and thank you for your support of your student graduating today. Because today's ceremony marks the completion of another academic year, it's important to acknowledge the faculty and staff who have or will be retiring this year. You'll find the complete list of names in your program. Combined, they have more than 233 years of service to Jefferson College, our students and our community. If you are retiring this year, please stand. We sincerely thank each of these hardworking professionals for their esteemed years of service to Jefferson College and wish them well as they transition to retirement. Thank you. It's also appropriate to reflect briefly on those employees who passed away during this academic year. The college sends heartfelt condolences to the families of these employees who faithfully served our students. We appreciate their contributions and former service to Jefferson College. Please join me in a moment of silence in remembrance of these individuals. Thank you. Graduates, earning your degree or certificates represents one of the major milestones in your lives and marks your transition from being a student to Jefferson College alumni. Throughout your time as a Viking, you've proven again and again that you possess the grit and determination to achieve success and reach your goals. And we are proud to have been part of this journey. It's always a great day to be a Jefferson College Viking. We are not focused on endings today, but on new beginnings. By graduating, you're laying the foundation for a better life for you and your family, regardless of whether you are planning to go to work, enter the military, or transfer to a four-year institution to continue your education, Promise yourself that you will uphold Jefferson College's values of success, integrity, and service. Never forget to reach out and give back. Keep your connection with Jefferson College alive, knowing that you are part of a great tradition. You are forever an important part of the Jefferson College family. You join over 27,000 extraordinary alumni who use their Jefferson College education in pursuit of careers, professions, and further knowledge. We have every confidence that, that just as you have overcome numerous hurdles to be where you are today, you will make your way through the challenges of tomorrow. The entire Jefferson College family of faculty, staff, and administration joins us in celebrating your new beginning. Before we award all the certificates and diplomas, here are some things worth noting about the graduating class of 2022. This year, we are awarding 557 degrees and 81 certificates to 635 students. 364 are receiving a baccalaureate-oriented associate degree, and 272 are receiving an applied science career and technical degree or certificate. 21 students are earning their certificates with distinction. 104 students are earning their degrees with cum laude honors. 49 students are earning their degrees with magna cum laude honors. 37 students are earning their degrees with summa cum laude honors. There are also 40 graduates this year who have earned both their high school diploma and their associate degree in 2022. If you are an early college graduate, please stand and be recognized. Thank you and congratulations. High school and college graduate at the same time. That's impressive. To give credit to all our graduating students also requires giving profound credit to our dedicated faculty and staff who have prepared and challenged our students to be competitive in the classroom and wherever life's next challenge may take them. Please join me in recognizing them. Thank you.
One of the long-standing commencement traditions at Jefferson College is a greeting from the Board of Trustees. Please turn your attention now to the video screen as members of the board share their congratulations, beginning with Board President Steve Meinberg and Vice President Crystal Hargis. May your Jefferson College graduation be a continuation of many more wonderful achievements in your life. We're so proud you chose to attend Jefferson College. Congratulations and great job. Congratulations on your graduation and best wishes for your next adventure. Thanks for making Jefferson College part of your educational journey. Congratulations on this very special graduation day from your community college. You did it. Happy graduation. The day you've dreamed about has finally arrived and we couldn't be any prouder of you. Great results come from hard work. Thanks for choosing Jefferson College for your education. Congratulations and well done. We're extremely happy that you started your educational journey at Jefferson College. No matter what you'll do in the future, you're going to always be part of the Jefferson College family. Congratulations and good luck on your future. Thank you, trustees. It is now my pleasure to introduce our guest speaker, Jefferson County Executive Dennis Gannon. Dennis is a Jefferson College graduate who earned a certificate in business management and an Associate of Applied Science degree. Not only did the college play an important role in his education and growth, but he met his wife Elaine, who is currently a member of the Missouri Senate, while attending the college. So you just never know who you might meet at Jefferson College. Dennis is a proud veteran of the United States Naval Reserve, Missouri Armed National Guard, and U.S. Army Reserve, and is a retired U.S. Army Quartermaster Corps Major. You can read more about Dennis and his many contributions to our region in your program. Without further delay, please join me in welcoming our 2022 commencement speaker, Mr. Dennis Gannon. Good morning. Dr. McCaffrey, boards of the board members of the Board of Trustees, staff, faculty, family, friends, and graduates, I'm honored to speak to you today. My name is Dennis Gannon, and I am pleased to serve as County Executive for Jefferson County. 47 years ago, myself, today, I graduated from Jefferson College. As an alum, I am honored to be your speaker as you successfully complete this very important milestone in your life and as you embark on the next journey of your life. Heck, I even met my wife Elaine here who's taking a picture of me right now. <laughs> I used to hang out a little bit more in arts and science just so I could see her going to her biology lab. So as you know, my life, as I know it, really began right here where you're sitting. My purpose in speaking to you today is to recognize and congratulate you for this great achievement you have made in your graduation. Each graduate today has made a giant step towards attaining a successful life and career. This could not have happened without the support of many people, family, friends, and the support staff that believed in you. This support staff is something to be very grateful for. This year's graduating class consists of graduates receiving degrees in teaching, engineering, music, art, general education, automotive technology, veterinary technology, nursing, welding, heating and air conditioning, and also my favorite, which is what I did, business management. As I look around today, I see smiling faces, but I also see future nurses, veterinarians, mechanics, teachers, artists, all of which will become the leaders of the future and will be the heart of your community. From this day forward, you will have the opportunity to use your advanced skills that you have learned and acquired to make the absolute best of your future endeavors. John Wooden, a well-renowned basketball coach, once said, Things work out best for those who make the best of how they work out. Boy, if that isn't the truth, and of all the graduates here today, I think you know what I'm talking about. Today is a very special day for you. 
Many of you did not get a normal high school graduation commencement because your senior year was right in the middle of the pandemic. Some of you may have had a different path when you were younger and today is your dream and it took many years in the making. For your families who are sitting around us today, when I say family, I mean aunts, uncles, dad, sisters, grandparents, but I'm not talking also about your blood relatives. I'm talking about your neighbor, your friends, maybe even a coworker. That's your family. They had the joy of helping you get through the journey you're now seeing in your success. And for the faculty that's here, it hasn't been easy for you either. Balancing life in a virtual classroom, in a real classroom, all while ensuring your students gained the knowledge and skill sets they needed to be successful as a graduate. This is a very, very special occasion for all of you. I think you all deserve a well round of applause. Please. <clears throat> Did you know that 74.5% of this year's graduating class is from Jefferson County? This statistic shows why a community college is such a gem for our community. And Jefferson College, what a great academic, academic facility to achieve your goals. With a mission to serve the community, deliver quality opportunities that empowers people to achieve their goals and a vision for the future. You truly could not have picked a better college to set yourself up for achievements in wherever your life paths will take you. There is no denying the last two years have been chaotic, at times and stressful, filled with lots of change. I like to think of it like, seems like the last two years is like a stretched rubber band and it's been stretched as tight as it can go. However, all of you have kept pushing and persevered through all these difficult times. I believe these challenging years have prepared you for the events to come in your future. In the words of Winston Churchill, the pessimist sees difficulty in every opportunity. The optimist sees opportunity in every difficulty. That's exactly what you should do, seize the opportunities from these difficult years. The commitment of your own education is a powerful thing. It suggests a commitment to yourself and a healthy respect for yourself. It also is a statement that you believe in yourself. Without believing in yourself, you will never know how far in life you can go or what you can achieve. Remember this, many doors have now, been, now will be open for you, but it's gonna be up to you to make sure they stay open and you walk through them. Some of you will go on to continue your education. Some of you will start careers. Some of you, some of you will start raising your family. Whatever your future holds, other, whatever your future holds, remember to be kind and show grace while fulfilling your dreams and make a difference in this world. Many years ago, I started out working as a stock boy. Then I worked in the hotel industry and real estate. Through the years, I've had the pleasure to meet many great people. Through all those experiences, I've learned some things I would like to share with you. Some of these things may be simple, but as the world seems to be more convoluted and confusing each day, I thought I would share some thoughts that I've had from my past. Always look for the best in people. Be a good listener. Smile. Show respect for others' opinion. If you're wrong, admit it, and admit it quickly. Embrace your community and give back. Life is what you make it. Sometimes you will fail, and sometimes you will achieve success. Above all, be kind to others. Before I wrap up, I'd like to leave you with one last quote from the famous football coaching legend, Lou Holtz. Your talent determines what you can do. Your motivation determines how much you're willing to do and your attitude determines how well you would do it. I encourage each of you to never let yourself have self-doubts. The degree you earn today 
is a belief in yourself and your attainment of success. And so class of 2022, it is time to celebrate, it's time to get your degree and put it to good use. While you celebrate your accomplishments today, let this advice, let this evidence of hard work and commitment be only a slight indicator of your future. I wish all of you nothing but great success. Be safe this weekend. Congratulations, class of 2022. Go out and make a difference. Thank you. Thank you, Dennis. And now we've arrived at the moment you've all been waiting for to acknowledge those who are earning their certificates or associate degrees, including the Associate of Applied Science, Associate of Arts, Associate of Arts in Teaching, Associate of Science, and Associate of Fine Arts. Will all candidates for certificates and degrees please rise? Dr. McCaffrey, these candidates, having completed the requirements established by Jefferson College, are recommended by the faculty to you for their degrees and certificates. In accordance with this recommendation and by the authority of the Jefferson College Board of Trustees, I confer upon you the respective certificates or associate degrees with all rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Candidates for degrees and certificates, please come forward to receive your diploma cover. The second row of candidates will now approach the stage and all other candidates may be seated until they are directed. Samantha Anderson. Tyler Armbruster, cum laude. Carissa Baker, cum laude. Alyssa Block, cum laude. Shelby Lee Block, magna cum laude. <laughs> Noah Bodine. <laughs> Michaela Rose Brock. Kirsten Elise Brown, magna cum laude. Garrett Bunton, cum laude. Zachary Case, certificate with distinction. Jordan Catlett. Angela M. Clifton. Gabriella Josephine Curtis. Savannah Rose Chopla, cum laude. Jay Dio. <laughs> Jessica Marie Dillard. <laughs> Jacob Evans, cum laude.
Danielle Forrest. Susan Frowitter. Austin Wayne Galloway, cum laude. Emily Glidewell, cum laude. Valoria Grace, cum laude. Jaden Hayes Wakirka. Anna Victoria Hendrickson, cum laude. Sarah Louise Hendrickson, cum laude. Angela L. Hendricks, magna cum laude. Brooke May Herbert. Lucy Marie Hewer. Brendan Hill. Amanda Lynn Horn. Brett Horning. Devin Hudson. Gwen Irene Jacobson. Michael Lee Jones, magna cum laude. Luke Christopher Koss. James Kronig, magna cum laude. Isabel Kuchka. Jacob Labore. Zoe Grace Labore. <laughs> Destiny Liera, cum laude. <laughs> Elizabeth Renee Malin, cum laude. Victoria Elizabeth Martinez. Jason McCorkle, Certificate with Distinction. Ian McDowell. Alexander McKee. <laughs> Madeline Miller. <laughs> Kylie Lynn Mitchell. Tyler Ray Price, cum laude. <laughs> H. 
Haley May Probst. Thomas Pruitt. Presley May Quarles, cum laude. Heather Nicole Richardson. Dakota Michael Schilling. William James Michael Sidwell. Aaron Michael Stacy. Kylie Brianne Stewart. Samuel J. Stuckenschneider. Joseph Doyle Sykes. Anna Patricia Tavares, cum laude. Brianna Alexis Warren. James Wooten. And Whitney Ann Yarbrough, cum laude. Let's have one more round of applause for the graduating class of 2022. Each year, associate degree students who graduate with the highest scholastic standing are acknowledged for outstanding scholarship achievement. These graduates have a perfect 4.0 grade point average. Outstanding scholarship recipients, will you please rise? Please approach the stage in one line and come forward as I call your name. The recipients of this year's Outstanding Scholarship Achievement are Kelly Renee Duclos. and Andrew Thomas Grimm. <clears throat> Let's have one more congratulations for the Outstanding Scholarship Achievement recipients. Before I get to the turning of the tassel, I just want to add two quick comments. First of all, uh, Dennis spoke about resilience and overcoming challenges. It's just one more thing to have a storm in the middle of your graduation. <laughs> so <laughs> I'm glad everyone was able to make it here safely today. And then I'm going to make a personal note really quick. I just want to say um, one of the graduates today is actually my niece, and I get emotional, so I'll try not to. But I just want to tell you, Jordan, that your dad and your grandma are looking down on you, very proud of you today. Would the graduating class please stand? Please turn your tassel from the right to the left, signifying you are now a graduate of Jefferson College. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the class of 2022.
We would like to thank the, everyone for coming today with special thanks to our graduates, parents, families, faculty, staff, and guests. Please remain at your seats until the recessional is over. There is a photo backdrop in the lobby that graduates and families can use. So please remember to share your photos and videos on social media using hashtag JeffcoGrad. We will be posting those, phase, those photos on our social media account all next week. Class of 2022. All of us at Jefferson Co College are proud to have had the opportunity to teach you and learn from you in achieving this defining milestone. We're so happy to share in the excitement of your graduation day and are so very proud of all of you. Congratulations.